Nokia has been on something of a roll recently, with the timely acquisition of Infinera and a strong presence at the forefront of everything from APIs to AI RAN and data centers to defense, Nokia is positioning itself for a transformative future. Well, I'm here at MWC 25 to learn about the company's focus and explore the innovations that are driving its resurgence in the telecommunications industry. We have a fantastic presence at Mobile World Congress this year. We're expecting our customers to do a lot this time around um, real-world impact of technologies like 5G, AI, connectivity, um, and the critical path that the CSPs bring in um, delivering on that promise. And then from Nokia's perspective, we'll be helping them differentiate through optimizing networks, um, through finding new revenue streams. Um, and we'll also be doing that through things like cloudification, autonomous networks, um, interoperability, monetization. Connectivity, and not only connectivity, but trusted connectivity underpins all of that. Without trusted connectivity, we will not be able to reap the benefits of AI, cloud, or digitalization in general. We are the only vendor that can be a trusted partner for connectivity in all network domains. Obviously, of course, we are an a 5G incumbent, but we are much more than that. We are a key player in data centers, in switching, in routing. Now through the acquisition of Infinera, we are becoming a very large player in optical networks as well. The timing of this deal just couldn't be any better. Our team is jacked up. We're very, very stoked to be able to put the R&D that both companies have done separately over the last decade or so together with what can be going forward, our R&D plan to address some really big markets. So for Nokia, AI equals massive amounts of compute going into these very, very large data centers. These data centers are getting distributed globally because of the sheer size and power requirements that are being placed on these data centers. And that drives a massive amount of connectivity requirements, both inside the data center, between the data centers, and to the end users. And that's where Nokia comes in. We provide all that you need to meet your networking requirements across all those dimensions. We're automating as much as we can when it also comes to creating an even better customer experience. So those, those would be my AI RAN thoughts for the future. Um, I'm also just want to say right off the bat, we're super excited about the uh, AI RAN Alliance, uh, founding members together with SoftBank and a few others, and, um, and getting together um, uh, with, and seeing that there is so much momentum around this. Uh, because it, at, the, at the end of the day, we live in a standardized industry, and we need to, we need to be able to drive large ecosystems with what we're doing, and um, you know, I'm super excited about that. Nokia has been working with the many of our partners and industry players and operators to really demonstrate what we can do with AI RAN. And when AI RAN Alliance was launched last year, 12 months ago, Nokia was one of the founding members. And now you can see there are 75 members in this alliance, which shows that how the industry is embracing this technology. And if you look at any of these, our partner solutions. The other growth area that we have been talking about is, is defense. Uh, it's vital to have trusted actors in this space. So you're uh, repurposing almost 5G as a solution for military applications. What type of systems will 5G be used in? Actually, the beauty of 5G is can be used across the inter military domains from strategic base, forwarding base, to tactical domain, because of the power of the technology and the flexibility of the technology itself. So today we're working on what's called hybrid base station version, but we have planned to work and to move more and more to the battlefield. We have currently now over 850 private wireless and edge compute customers, and we have seen great use cases where customers have actually had a 100% return on investment uh, in, in just a couple of, uh, couple of years after they started to build uh, private network uh, connectivity. So we are big believers in this, and we believe that outside of our traditional service provider markets, this will be one of our major growth, uh, growth vectors going forward. Warren Buffett once said that uh, when the tide goes down, you could see who's been swimming naked. And I would add, 
when the tides come in again, you can see who's got the best boat and the best crew. And I'm betting that's going to be Nokia.